getting rid of her. I'm calling my advisor and getting a new room. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, I am. Give me the phone. No, it's my phone. I swear, just give me the phone. No, it's my phone. Can you tell us about what happened? I knew who I was when they found me. I knew my friends and family would be worried, but I just had to stop and fold up. I didn't want to think anymore. Yeah, well, I wasn't Spence Hastings for almost a day, and no one showed up for the job. You don't even understand. And, but then I realised that that little girl, in her own way, put me on a pedestal and it felt great. You just landed yourself into a world of superstars. And I know you'll never admit it, but you're scared. You're scared that you're gonna be the dumbest in your class, but that's okay. You know, it's not the world's worst thing to have your own personal cheerleader. I mean, I miss mine already. Yeah, just like me, I guess. I remember once when I was in the woods, I was running and I fell. And I saw my hands, my sleeves and those little buttons on my sleeves. And I thought to myself, okay, if this is the last thing you ever see, I can handle it. But it, it wasn't. I just kept going. How does someone keep going after the worst has already happened? What do I have to change inside to survive? Who do I have to become? <laughs>